disaster. Sussex disaster out in open as Harry rejects Meghan's hug in public Colombian visit. Meghan Markle's highly anticipated visit to Colombia, a nation known for its vibrant culture and warm climate, was intended to be a showcase of her impeccable fashion sense. The Duchess, known for her penchant for luxury brands, was expected to dazzle the crowds with a curated collection of designer outfits, each piece a testament to her refined taste and royal status. However, the focus of the day shifted from the meticulously chosen ensembles to an unexpected and rather embarrassing spectacle. Meghan's struggle with excessive perspiration. Upon her arrival in Bogota, Meghan, as expected, made a grand entrance, adorned in a lavish ensemble that would have made any fashionista envious. A $598 navy vest, a $448 navy top, and a $3,000 Laura Piana handbag were just the beginning. Adding to the opulent display were a pair of 650-pound Pippa Small earrings, a Lorraine Schwartz diamond bracelet costing over $15,000, a 7,000-pound Cartier bracelet, and a 24,900-pound Cartier watch. Her footwear choice, Manolo Blahnik black heels, added another 595 pounds to the already staggering cost of her outfit. The day's events continued with a visit to the responsible Digital Future Forum at a university, where Megan opted for a more casual yet still designer-driven look. She sported a $597 chocolate brown shirt by Victoria Beckham, a choice that sparked speculation about the state of their friendship, as rumors suggested that Victoria Beckham might not be sending Megan any more free samples after their alleged falling out. The earthy shirt was paired with glossy trousers and burnt orange suede sandals, creating a chic and relaxed vibe. However, the carefully curated ensemble failed to withstand the humid Colombian climate. As Meghan and Prince Harry posed for photographs, the focus shifted from the designer labels to the unsightly sweat stains that had begun to appear on her shirt. The question on everyone's mind became, what was Meghan thinking when she chose this outfit? Surely, someone in her entourage must have pointed out that a dark, heavy fabric might not be the ideal choice for a humid day in Bogota. But perhaps, in her quest to impress with her fashion choices, practicality took a back seat to the price tag. Social media erupted with comments ranging from disbelief to outright mockery. Speculation ran rampant, with some questioning why Meghan was sweating so profusely, particularly in her underarms, while others noted that Prince Harry seemed to be distancing himself from the situation. Reports surfaced that he refused to embrace Meghan after noticing the stains, opting instead to keep his hands firmly behind his back. The day's events served as a stark reminder that even the most carefully curated appearances can be undone by the simplest of things, perspiration. In this case, it wasn't just any perspiration, but visible sweat stains that drew attention away from the designer labels and the carefully constructed image. The incident sparked a conversation about the importance of practicality in fashion choices, particularly in environments that might not always be conducive to high fashion ensembles. It also highlighted the inherent vulnerability of even the most meticulously crafted public image, a reminder that even royals are not immune to the realities of human experience. Meghan's wardrobe choices became the talk of the town, but not in the way she had hoped. It wasn't the designer labels, the outrageous cost, or even the bling that stole the spotlight. It was the unsightly sweat stains that served as a humbling reminder that even the most carefully constructed facade can be undone by something as basic as perspiration. Perhaps the lesson here is that no amount of money can buy good taste, or at the very least, a more breathable fabric. Megan, next time you're packing for a high-profile trip, consider opting for something a little less sweaty.